so this is the yellow dashboard and this is the post page there is the menu tag you can see all the menu settings and post page is the home page so where you can see all the sales of today sales total sales customers how many have been added how many customers are there total in notifications you can see all the customer which customer has signed up what orders has been placed all these things you can see at the restaurants you can see all the merchants added to your admin panel all the orders which have been cancelled pending in this path this is the shortcut to update billing info this you can use to design a website and this you can add any merchant in reports you can uh, see all the reports of your business case you can see the revenue you can see the restaurants you can see uh, the customers you can select the data range per month or you can select through manually first marketplace under marketplace first comes the design this is the proper layout of the admin of your website so you can see the primary image you can set your primary image according to your requirement you can see the background image you can set it you can see home page you can also change it you can change the header color theme color you can change the button color you can add a tagline and the best food like best food at your order and you can see the business category which you can enable it under our uploader image you can see you can edit the uploader image like the this is the uploader image which is coming so you can also change it and these are the display banners which you can see and edit or delete it so these are the advertisement which has been displayed like these are the banners visibility to customers so visibility to customers is like what all things customer can see on a website so it's like show restaurant phone number to customer you can enable or disable it you can allow customer to see exact location map uh, show restaurant address of customer and show restaurant details you can use it or enable or disable it according to your requirement these are the terminologies which you need to change or you can change according to your business requirement in different languages it can be shown and in many things like notes for restaurant merchant you can add restaurant for cancel you can change the catalog or anything you want to change it after change you need to update it in notifications you can see the notifications when a customer order has been placed so will he get the order by email or by sms by sms then you can add it through here you can edit through email by editing here under notifications sms setting you can edit from here and update it and new sign up when a customer sign up to your website so what all notifications should they get like email or sms you can do the same by editing from here under order reminder you can edit the notification from here under application notifications are the events like when your order has been displayed dispatched or accepted or placed or delivered so all these notification you can active or deactive according to your requirement under pages you can add the title like about us good or any action on you can make it active or non-active or you can edit it you can add the URL, add a page. You can, by selecting a page, you can add it. Under finance, you can see the currency in what kind of currency you need to have, like payment US dollar or euros or anything like that. Like these are the decimal values you want to put. And any additional charge you want to have, like delivery charges, any additional you want to do merchant wise delivery charge you want to have or anything like these are the charges which have been put these are the examples like restaurant id restaurant name delivery charge have to put they have put status is active non-active and you can see the action you can set a template order details like you can add it or add it 
under taxes you can put any kind of taxes like service charge service tax your vat your gst and you can set a value fixed or percentage and you can add it or make it active or non-active under delivery modes you can have self pickup or delivery and static address is like delivery to only a particular location so you can add your particular location through map and you can select this and under tip you can add a tip which need to be given to the driver it should be fixed or percentage and give tip option 15 80 20 okay and you can edit it inside order you can disable it or enable it cancellation region should be customized or predefined that depends according to the requirement this is the delivery flow on token merchant to customer or customer to merchant when you're integrated with token default delivery manager is admin or the merchant you can set according to yourself payment option should be cash on delivery and rest card is also there and other extensions you can add on check out template after person selects the order so he need to check out the template and before checking out he need to add the details so we can add it from here we can edit it what all we can add anything name address contact number or anything under sign up requirement when a customer sign up to your website so what all fields should be required like email should be there phone number customer verification should be there email verification otp verification sign up template when a customer sign up what all fields templates what all field we could add the name the address the title or else the customer could sign from facebook instagram or google these are the user tags customer can see the merchants with the same tags only so we can add from here under restaurant setup you can see open a sign up for restaurant this is a link for sign up form for a merchant who can add through your website so if any merchant is added to your website so they can add and we can custom their fields like custom for cost for two or cuisine cuisine is like Chinese and business category we have defined for them Italian coffee shop Korea traditional so we can arrange that accordingly next comes the analytics analytics is the basic revenue the what all we are day to day are activities like live revenue what's it's going on live customers what are the status live orders these all the graphs showing orders and orders and revenue all the order and revenue of past few days we can see monthly order revenue we can see function we can visualize it we can download it we can function and reload it whatever we want to do yes the user a customer registration how many customers have been registered to a website how many merchants have been registered to a website all these could be added under orders we can see if a customer places any order so what all orders are on the pending status on the dispatch or on the completed orders and what all orders have been cancelled so like if any order has come has come so it would be like in this status we need to accept it or reject it and we get the details of order id from which merchant has been the food order the customer schedule time is what payment method is cash address where need to pay, deliver an amount and it's a home delivery under business categories we can add a different type of categories from here like Kato, we can add it Italian. So we can edit it, we can add image, customize it, or anything we want to do. Under restaurants becomes the uh, merchants, all the details of the merchants, like the re restaurant ID, restaurant name, the address, the contact number, the email, the ratings, the status. We want to show them on our website then we can active their status if we don't want to then we can deactive their status so we can do it either ways this is the commission we have put to them type of commission is percentage and action is we can block them we can view them we can delete them and if we want to add any merchant we need to click add restaurant and we can add merchant here all the details their banner their logo their commission value their percentage of commission 
their serving radius, their address, their name, their description, everything we can add. Under promotions, we can add the referral discounts, what all referral discounts have been given by our merchant. So we can make it status active or non-active. This is the ID, this is the code, referral code, this is the type flat or percentage. This is the value, maximum discount, minimum start, valid, description, hidden promo, status we want to make active or non-active, and action to edit or delete it. So we want, if we want to add any referral promotion, we can add it from our promotion. And here comes the detail, percentage discount, flat discount, all these details we can add it here. We get the details of all the customers who have been added to our website, who have been logged into our website. So we can edit them, we can block them, we can view them. We get the, all the details by clicking their ID, the details of the customers. Under approvals, approvals we get the orders, what all orders we need to approve or reject. So under chicken dominator, address, description, restaurant, we can approve them or reject them. So all the details comes here, pending, and then it comes to approved, then all the rejected and all. Under commission, we set a commission set up with the merchants who have added to our website. It's a set fixed amount, set a percentage, commission is offline or online, pay schedule is real time or later. So we can set it here, commission mode. And we get the details from here. Like this is the our merchant, payment mode there is cash, restaurant name is this, the total amount is this, payable amount is this, and total commission to the admin is this and status is unpaid or paid or online and action we can edit and set it as paid under settings is the account setting first the account of the admin banner we can change the password we can edit the details from here we can see all the details we can set our time zone we can set the distance in kilometers or miles we can enable accept reject order we can <clears throat> add delivery time we can add GDPR user rights under applications is all the API keys which gets integrated through our admin panel so we can add our API keys here and save it under language we can see the language we want to uh, see the our dashboard in so apart from English there are many languages so for example like Arabic, Spanish, Chinese, we can select them and submit and refresh the page. Under the billing is our billing plan. We can see the billing plan. Next billing date is this. If no card is added, we can add a card. We can change the plan according to our requirements. This is the chat process when the customer chat with the merchant or the admin panel. So this is chat process under the extensions we get all other different type of extensions like there are many gateways like pay for you can want to configure pay for you want to configure razor pay you want to have stripe connect you want to have put terms and conditions generator on your web page you want to have a menu on a web page you want to have loyalty points you want to configure paypal so all these things are on the extension page so this is all about yellow